And I, we've been with this woman for fucking 13 seasons, but yeah, yeah, we right? want to. Yeah. But yeah, I don't yeah. think I it's, mean, you know, I watched, I wanted to see a little bit, you know, about what was going on and, um, you know, and, and she and Louis seem really happy. You know, I, I hope it works out. I guess I, I hate to hear these rumors that Louis, his business is off or whatever. He has looked rather manic, these like red faced, you know, moments um on the show. I mean, those do seem really kind of crazy, but I enjoyed the wedding special. I love that Louis family seems to really love Teresa. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I, that story is a story that keeps on going because it's like, oh God, what's going to happen next? Please don't let Louis be a scammer. Like she cannot go through that again. <laughs> like it's just too much. I mean, but I really don't on reality TV. wish it on anyone. Look, I, Teresa doesn't leave people per se. So I think she really is the definition of for richer or poor, but I really do think she will stand by. She is in love. She is madly in love. I mean, look, I think everyone has a, 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 a threshold for when they are out. But unlike Kim Zolciak, which we can talk about when we're done with New Jersey, I, I really don't think Teresa, look, she's very loyal. She's very loyal. She's very loyal to Juicy Joe, you know, the father of her children, who was I just, know, even though, I know. you know, so I mean, I don't really, Louis, it's going to have to be really that I mean, I look, I think if he cheated on her infidelity, but I think shady business practices, I think whatever is there, Teresa will. I mean, I think she'll be in denial and just say no, he didn't do it, but I think she'll stand by him. I think she'll stand by him no matter what. I really do. There's so many rumblings, right, about Louis's business that it's sort of like a Jen Shaw where he gets these leads for, you know, sued. I don't know what. Well, he's you know, being sued by who? You know what he's being sued for? He's being sued for, well, first of all, he's there's a lot of legal stuff flowing around, Louis. But this latest lawsuit, which is resurfacing, and then we could talk about is the pause because of Louis. Because I don't think the pause is because of Louis. I think two things get to be true. People are saying Bravo is really nervous that he has so many. Bravo don't give a shit. They will ride the they'll, they'll ride with Louis and Shotgun next to Teresa. It, truly until the whales wheels fall off and the feds are knocking on the door or some authorities are knocking on the door and the man is handcuffed and taken off to jail. They will remember Jen Shaw. You remember uh, Tom Girardi? You remember? remember yeah. You, you remember that scam artist? Um, Which, they by the will, way, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Andy has a good uh, story about Jen Shaw and why she didn't appear at the reunion. But anyway, go oh. on. I would love to hear it. Um, hi, Jen Shaw's PR. Oh, they're not happy with me. Sorry you represent a criminal. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. She's in jail. She's an admitted criminal. Um, what was I going to say to you? Oh, God. Oh, so. Well, about Louis. They're not. Bravo doesn't care. They're not. There's no pause because they're nervous about Louis's, you know, business dealings. And, you know, no, the pause is truly only because they don't know what to do with Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga. And I do still think that it will end in them being replaced. Maybe not. Maybe there'll be two shows. Teresa's spinoff has done great, but the pause is not because of any shady crap Louis up to. Um, the lawsuit is like, if you break it down, it's like someone asked to be put on the do not call list and they're suing him. I don't know the actual charges because I can't remember, but it's like for, you know, the harassment type, like where you're like, why are you still calling me? I told you. So she's asking for $1,500 per call. Oh, okay. All you right. Know? He's probably going to see a lot of court. That's not that much, you know, I would think, but. I think she was called. I don't know. A lot. Maybe he called her a hundred times. Well, there you go. Oh, all right. Then it could be, you know, if he called if he called her two hundred times, then yeah, we're in I trouble. Mean. Um but, but wait, you you have such you uh, your finger on the pulse of all things New Jersey. And PS, this me. man has so many sources. I I I won't even go into who they are, but if y'all knew who is calling him, it's crazy. But anyway. So True. tell me, what do you I mean, do you think that there's really something? Do you think, you know, he? do you think he just has this grimy business or do you think Louis, uh oh, we could be going down another path of what we've seen with Tom Girardi and Jen Shaw and all that stuff? Do you think there's something true, hugely illegal going on? Is that the rumbling on the street? I mean, I feel so many of these Jersey people have things that are just not above board. 
I mean, look at Margaret is sued for all sorts of crazy things. She owes this and owes that. I mean, you know, like, I guess the definition of illegal is, I mean, there's illegal and then there's just like, you're a scumbag that you hire people and decide you're not interested in paying. I mean, again, I also don't want to pay anybody that does anything for me. I want to keep every penny that I have, but I don't. I pay every single person within seconds. So there's like, I don't know. I, I don't think every single box in Louis's, on Louis's checklist is checked off now. I, I just, it can't all be completely above board. But I don't feel that well, about I, Joe Gorga either. I don't feel that about Margaret. I feel that about so many of these New Jersey people. I can't, I can't, I mean, you don't feel, I don't feel that about Jackie and Evan. I don't feel that about Jennifer and Bill. You just got to go with your gut. I mean, so if I had to put it in one category or another, yeah. And it's not just Jersey. We could go down to many other franchises, but I don't feel it's all legit. You know, like Sutton Strack, who has all the money from her divorce and the Sutton store and Garcelle, who's an actress. They're not up to uh, any. I mean, come on now. Scratch, scratch below the surface, guys. There, there's no, there's no, there's no dark illegal shit going on there with Sutton Strack and her best friend Garcelle. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like Louis is a far cry from that. So yeah, it just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's fully illegal, but it's, I mean, there's illegal and there's illegal, right? I mean, how, isn't it all illegal if it's illegal? <laughs> you know well, what I mean? If it's look, not there's, lawful. There's, uh, look, I mean, there's illegal, like we're going to jail for 13 years, like the Christie's, you know, Chris Chris Lays. There's, you know, there's Teresa unknowingly signing papers. So Ju Joe Judice could be money laundering or whatever that, you know, th there's different levels to this, you know, that crime. So, you know, there's Tom Girardi, who, again, I have no clue. I, I cannot believe is not in jail. I don't give a shit how demented he is. Um, but anyway, what I do I do want to ask, because you, you've you been in the press, you've been getting a ton of press. I mean, can we are we ever going to get to the bottom of who did turn in Juicy Joe? Who fucking called the feds on Joe Giudice? Jacqueline Larita was just on your show. My God, it, it was like top podcast. And she and Kim D say they know exactly who was in the office and they make it sound like it wasn't Joe Gorga. It was, it was Caroline like a good friend of Joe saying Gorga. she was there. Well, now it'll be Caroline out. By the, says, yeah. And well, it'll be out by the time you hear this, but I just had on June 5th, Mr. Juicy Joe on my podcast. Did I ever tell you I recorded with him? <laughs> he was just yes, on my podcast. Did. Well, God. that episode has seen the light of the day now. And we, Go listen, because we talk about this. I listen, one of my favorite. You know, does he know? Does he know? Are we ever going to get a name? Are we ever going to get a name? I, uh, does Juicy never, know who did it? You're never going to get it from Carolyn Amanzo. Look, I don't want to spoil it for everyone that hasn't listened to that particular episode on June 5th. But we talk, listen, you know how when you ask me my favorite interviews of all time and I say like Brandy, Lala, I just love the people I, I fucking loved, loved talking He's like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Every other word, he's like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? I'm 